I think I was four years old and this friend of the family's asked me what I wanted to do when I grow up when I grow up and um, I said I wanted to be an actress and my dad kind of looked down in shock and horror hoping that I would change my mind eventually. Hi my name is Stana Kadic. My grandfather used to call me porcupine <laughs> because when I was born my hair apparently stuck straight up and was like flaming red. I had a series of crushes in school but I was super shy and there was one guy Kevin McKinney in grade two. I had a super huge crush on him. I could never admit to it and so instead the easiest way to express it was like arguing with each other. <laughs> James Bond was like joining this huge film legacy. Um, so many of the people that are working on that film franchise are family and have been there for generations. My cocktail of choice right now, the truth is, is I, I'm, I'm exploring bourbon a bit. <laughs> Some bourbon on the rocks. <laughs> there are so many movies out there that are, I think, riveting. Like I remember Dog Day Afternoon watching Al Pacino just ex. Low. Like he was complete freedom. He was complete beautiful creative madness in that movie. I love Frank Miller. I he's such a creative. He speaks in um, pictures. And so sometimes he would come up to me and give me a direction and he would speak it in like movement and color and, and in visuals. One of the unusual skills that I had to learn for acting was I had to learn how to kill someone. Uh, by knifing them in a Navy SEAL technique. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing because um, while I was training for this, I was like, driving around downtown LA, flipping this butcher knife around, like listening to the music, singing along, waiting at a stoplight, and there's this like Hummer stop next to me with like tourists. And I remember I like stopped for a moment because I felt like somebody was looking at me and I turn over and there's like four guys just like mouths gaping staring out their windows like what is this crazy chick with the butcher knife doing in the car? <laughs> Speaking of happy endings, thanks for saving my life. I was just trying to avoid paperwork. Yeah, uh, make a pretty good team, you know, like Starsky and Hutch, Tango and Cash, Turner and Hooch. You know, now that you mention it, you do remind me a little of Hooch. Mm. Let me talk about one thing about Nathan and uh, Nathan's and my uh, camera chemistry that everyone seems to be so riveted by. Um, <clears throat> I don't know that you can force that kind of thing. I think that there has to be an element of it already there. I think it's one of the most amazing professions in the universe, in the world, because it asks you to live life as fully as you can possibly live it. You're asked to be aware of all of your senses constantly and eventually hopefully bring that to um, a character, to a role. It's a wonderful opportunity to, to go and explore life and have an adventure of it and to just really live it fully, if that makes any sense. Is that a good enough answer? That's a great answer. Okay.